Well, qualifying is now over at the 2019 Canadian Grand Prix. And what a day of qualifying it was with some spectacular results and just enthralling uh, laps going on during qualifying. What a day of qualifying. So many surprises. And we are going to get into it in this review of qualifying. Let's first, though, get into the results of qualifying right here. So... Getting pole position for the first time in almost a year is Sebastian Vettel. Second place is Lewis Hamilton. Third is Charles Leclerc. Amazingly, P4, Daniel Ricciardo. P5 is Pierre Gasly. P6 is Valtteri Bottas. P7, Nico Hulkenberg. Great day for Renault. Then the two McLarens of Norris and Sainz, P8 and P9. Magnus and P10. We'll get onto him later and why he did not do a final attempt in qualifying three. Max Verstappen, P11, I'll explain that later on. Kvyat, P12, Giovinazzi, P13, Albon, P14, Grosjean, 15, and then knocked out in Q1. Sergio Perez, Kimi Raikkonen, Lance Stroll, George Russell, and Robert Kubica. What a qualifying we have had in Montreal. But now, let's get into the teams and start off with Mercedes. Now, Mercedes, I think... From one side of the garage, I think they did the best they could with Lewis Hamilton. I think Hamilton did a good job today, but just compared to Sebastian Vettel in the Ferrari, was not quick enough. And I don't think Lewis will be that disappointed in ending up in P2 because he knows there is a long race tomorrow uh, where Mercedes are still going to be very, very quick. His final attempt could have been quicker, but it was still an improvement on what he did before uh, but for Valtteri Bottas, he really did crack under pressure in his first run in Q3, spun the car out of turn three, and then on his final run, uh, made a couple errors, uh, did a couple lockups on his final attempt at turn seven and the turn 10 hairpin. And that did cost him probably enough lap time to get onto the second row of the grid and now ends up on the third row of the grid. Very disappointing for Valtteri Bottas and... He will definitely want to make amends for that tomorrow. But for Mercedes, definitely not the session they were expecting or that I was expecting for them. But it's not all over. They can still go out there and continue their 100% win record in 2019. But if they're going to uh, you know, continue that win record, they're going to have a very tough competitor in Ferrari and Sebastian Vettel who for the first time since Hockenheim in 2018 is on pole position a great final attempt by Sebastian Vettel getting pole by two tenths of a second and that's the Sebastian Vettel we have been missing for quite a few months that that is the Sebastian Vettel we're used to when it comes to qualifying in terms of being so clinical in getting pole position and that is the real Sebastian Vettel. That's the Sebastian Vettel that we all know and love. And it's great to see him properly back. Hopefully in the race tomorrow, he can keep that speed up. I'm not sure if he can, but hopefully he does. Uh, for Charles Leclerc, though, in terms of his result, P3, I think that is good enough. But his overall lap time uh, was disappointing compared to his teammate. He definitely could have been quicker in the second ferrari but considering he's normally better when it comes to race day compared to qualifying day i think he won't be too disappointed with that but ferrari have their second chance in 2019 to win a race after bahrain can they do it let's see if they can hopefully them and mercedes put on a great show for us tomorrow next up is red bull racing yeah gasly qualifying p5 that's a an okay result he will be definitely a bit embarrassed by daniel ricardo in the renault out qualifying him but then again he out qualified valtteri bottas so it kind of does work both ways so an okay session for gasly max verstappen though was well cost by the team and that's why he ended up in p11 in the early part of q2 went on the medium tires the Red Bull car, though, just wasn't fast enough to get into the top 10 on the medium compound tyres. So at the end of the session, whilst in P11, Max went out again on the soft tyres. But then when Kevin Magnussen heavily crashed at the final chicane, 
The red flag came out and Max could not improve. And Red Bull, you have to say, are guilty of taking that risk. If Kevin, of course, didn't crash, it would have worked out, but it didn't. So Red Bull do have to take some responsibility. But overall, um, I'd, I'd say disappointing day for Red Bull. It definitely could have been better for them after the pace they have showed in the practice sessions in the lead up to qualify but now let's get into the midfield and first Renault who have had their best day of the season so far without a doubt with Daniel Ricciardo qualifying in P4 Daniel Ricciardo without a doubt driver of the day in qualifying on Saturday how he qualified in P4 ahead of a Red Bull and a Mercedes the all dominant Mercedes of 2019 I do not know what a lap it was to get into P4. I don't think he can keep that up tomorrow. But with how chaotic the Canadian Grand Prix can sometimes be. Who knows what is going to happen tomorrow on race day. Also I want to say Hulkenberg did well to qualify P7. And Renault, you have to say, do have the best midfield car. But yeah, great by Ricardo. P4 in that Renault is astonishing absolutely astonishing i can't believe renault are in this position hopefully they can keep that up tomorrow also having a good qualifying is mclaren qualifying eighth and ninth with norris ahead of science um compared to renault i think mclaren will be disappointed they definitely could have been say closer to renault in qualifying in terms of the overall lap time but Considering where McLaren are compared to Renault in the constructors, I think McLaren will be happy with where they have qualified. And knowing how McLaren are when it comes to race pace, I think McLaren will score points most likely with both cars if they don't get involved in chaos uh, on the first lap. So good for McLaren. Could have been better, but still good. But one team that was not good was Alpha Romeo only 13th and 17th with Kimi Raikkonen getting eliminated in P17. Kimi has struggled all weekend. It is a surprise, you have to be honest, for Antonio Giovinazzi to out-qualify Kimi Raikkonen. I just want to shout out, by the way, Antonio Giovinazzi for out-qualifying him because he hasn't done it uh, that many times this season. I think it's only the second time he has done that. And I think... Considering how slow the Alpha is, for Giovinazzi to qualify 13th is a very good job indeed in terms of his driving. But for Alfa Romeo as a team, they're just not good enough right now. And if they don't score points tomorrow, then I think Alfa are in real trouble of slipping back in the midfield. Next up is Haas. For Kevin Magnussen, he did well to qualify inside the top 10, but did it in the fashion that he did not want to do it in by crashing at the final chicane, destroying his car. And I don't see how Kevin Magnussen will start P10 because he completely destroyed the rear end of his car. He's likely to take a new gearbox for race day. So I think Kevin Magnussen will drop back on the grid. And for Roman Grosjean, well, yeah, he was a bit unlucky with when K-Mag, his teammate, crashed, but also... He did not get his act together in the first run of qualifying. So Roman does also have to look at himself for why he qualified down in P15. So for Haas, not that great. Honestly, it could have been better and they will be hoping for better on race day. The Toro Rosso, they qualified where I thought they would in today's session p12 and p14 i don't think toro rosso are going to be disappointed because they know they don't have uh, a quick enough car to get into the top 10 in qualifying i think on race day they can have the pace to finish in the points and i wouldn't be surprised if they did finish in the points with say danny kvyat but in terms of their qualifying result for me they did absolutely fine and then for racing point the last midfield team, very, very disappointing, not only for Sergio Perez, but for home driver Lance Stroll, who again gets knocked out in qualifying one. But 
as a team, you have to say they are very disappointing uh, with their performance in qualifying today because if you look at practice, Racing Point looked as though they could be in a position like McLaren were, but they were nowhere near that. Very disappointing. Things have to improve for Racing Point on race day. It's going to be hard for them to score points, but you never know. It is Canada. And then, of course, at the back is Williams, 19th and 20th. But, guys, that is qualifying. What a qualifying it was. And hopefully that has set us up for a great race tomorrow on Sunday.